I received this miniature vise for my brother as a gift, which is a nice gift in my opinion. It's a, uh, it's rather small. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on something different than this 2x4. Uh, in a little bit better way, I think. And I'm going to... I mean, in all honesty, I don't really have to do anything at all. All I'd have to do is cut off this 2x4 a little closer to the, uh, to the um, screw here. And I could use my uh, hold fasts to hold it onto the bench. But I just wanted to, uh, I guess I just wanted to fool around, make it look nicer. Um, I'm just going to mount it on something different, I think. So what I'm thinking is, I have these quarter inch, three quarter inch dog holes on my bench. And I'm thinking using this uh, three quarter inch dowel so it fits in these dog holes. And then I'm going to mount it a piece of wood, not this piece. I mean this piece, but not this large. I'm going to cut off the piece. And I'm going to mount that onto the dog, uh, the, uh, the, the dowel. And I'm also going to mount the vise onto the piece of wood. And then that's really going to be it. Uh, we'll see how this works out. And first thing is disassembly. I went ahead and cleaned up all the uh, all the bits and pieces on this vise, and what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, use a hot blackening method, uh, which is heating it up with propane torch until it's hot, and then dumping it in some oil. Um, I am definitely not the person to. Uh, I'm not an expert at this. This is going to literally be the first time I'm attempting it. Uh, all I did was watch a couple videos. I will not show that in this video, but I will uh, give you my reaction after it's done. So next time you see me, it will. I will either have 30 degree burns on 50% of my body, or I will have successfully uh, hot blackened these parts. Let's uh, hope for the latter. Well, congratulate me. Uh, no third degree burns, no second degree burns, not even first degree burns. Uh, no burns at all. Uh, so it came out all right. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was. Uh, I think that this will suffice for now. And I'll do some more research on maybe doing a better job next time. No reason why I couldn't take this apart again. And not too many pieces on this. Holding the piece with a pair of pliers, I heated the parts with a propane torch until it, they turned an amber color. Then I dunked it into the oil. I used bar and chain oil, just because that's the oil I had in, uh, available to me. And uh, I don't know, it worked. So next step is I'm going to start making the, the base for this. And uh, we'll hopefully have something that's usable. Off camera, I drilled those two holes right here to mount the vise to. And then now what I'm going to do is, again off camera, I'm going to sand this and pretty it up. And then I will attach the, the uh, post. It doesn't take much. There you go, that's plenty. And then we're gonna put that in there. 
just like this. So, actually, you know what? I think I want some more glue. I like a little squeeze out on this one. So, yeah, that should do it. And then, we'll just get this screw started. There we go. There we go. There we go. Piece of paper towel. Clean off the squeeze out. There we go. That's gonna fit nicely in the dog hole. There we go. And we'll give it about half an hour, let it dry. I decided against the spray finish because the uh, if I were to do that, then uh, it would make the post, if I were to get it on the post, then the post would be uh, harder to um, get in the dog hole, so. What we're going to do is we're just going to go uh, without and I'll just go ahead and get this mounted. And two new screws look nicer than the ones that were on here. There we go. Let's get this piece on here. Like that. The washers. The washers didn't darken very well, so that's okay. Oops, I forgot an important piece. Off we go. Our spring. I did not do any heat treatment on the spring because that would have make it not be a string and if the spring had become a piece of wire. So we go. Once again, put that back on. And there we go. We got a mini vise that fits in a dog hole. The darkening didn't work perfectly, but it did do quite a bit. I suspect it's gonna be good enough. And if not, we can always take it apart and add it again. I like it. All done. Good. Finally, after every woodworking project, you should always Count your fingers. You end with 10. Good job.